All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm gonna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 100 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 100. So log 100 and log 100, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now log 200, I can rewrite as log of 100 times 2. And log 100, I can rewrite as log 10 squared. Now, if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So now this is the same thing as log 100 plus log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as b times log a. So log 10 to the power of 2, that's the same thing as 2 times log 10. Now log 10, that's equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to log 100 plus log 2 over 2. And again, we have log 100 again, and that's again equal, going to equal to 2. So I have 2 plus log 2 over 2. And this is the same thing as 2 over 2 plus log 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So I have 1 plus log 2 over 2. Now we need to find the exact value of log 2 uh, to which we can use a calculator. So if you use a calculator, you get that log 2 is 0 0.301. And I have that divided by 2. So now this is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.1505. So now 1 plus 0 0.1505 is 1 1.1505. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 270. So what I'm first going to do is if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 9 to the power of x plus 1, I can rewrite as 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of 1. This is equal to 270. Now, if I factor out 9 to the power of x from here, I get 9 to the power of x times 1 plus 9. Sorry, actually, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to let 9 to the power of x equal to the variable m. So now I have m plus m times 9 is equal to 270. m times 9, that's simply 9m. So I have m plus 9m is equal to 270. 9m plus m, that's 10m. So I have 10m is equal to 270, meaning m is 27. So we got the value of m, but we're actually looking for the value of x. So if 9 to the power of x is equal to 27, because m is 9 to the power of x, then I get 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So to solve this, 
I'm going to rewrite 9 here as 3 squared. So now I have 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 27. I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, n is 1. So I have 2x is equal to 1, meaning x is equal to 1 half. Sorry, this isn't 3 to the power of 1. This is 3 to the power of 3. So 2x is equal to 3. So x is 3 over 2, not 1 half. Now to check, I had 9 to the power of x. plus 9 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 270. So x is 3 over 2, so I have 9 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 9 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 1 is equal to 270. And this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 9 to the power of 5 over 2 is equal to 270. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I have 3 squared to the power of 3 over 2 plus 3 squared to the power of 5 over 2 is equal to 270. These twos cancel out, these twos cancel out, so now I have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 270. Now, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and 3 to the power of 5 is 243. And 27 plus 243 is 270. So 270 equals 270. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 4. So to solve this, well, I'm going to first rewrite 2 to the power of 20 here as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So this is equal to... 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 4, sorry. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now 4 I can rewrite as 2 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 10, and b is 2. So I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 2. Now 2 to the power of 10, 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. So I have 1024 plus 2 times 1024 minus 2. 1024 plus 2 is 1026 times 1024 minus 2 is 1022. So now we have 1026 times 1022. Well, if we try to multiply these terms as is, it's going to be, it's going to take really long and it's going to be really difficult and very easy to make mistakes. So an easier way to multiply these two is to break them down. So 1026, we can rewrite as 1000 plus 26, and 1022, we can rewrite as 1000 plus 22. Now, all we have to do to get our answer is distribute. So we're gonna first start 1000, and we're gonna distribute this to 1022. So now I have 1000 squared, because 1000 times 1000, 1000 squared, plus 1000 times 22, plus, now I'm going to distribute the 26. So now I have 26 times 1,000. And finally, plus 26 times 22. Now, 
it's much simpler to solve as you can see. So 1000 squared, that's gonna be 1 million. And 1020 times 22, that's 22,000. Uh, 1000 times 26, that's 26,000. And 26 times 22, that's 572. So now to add all these up, well, 1 million plus 22,000 plus 26,000, that's 1,048,000. And we have 572 at the end. So this is my answer.